Hey, it's Mark Wiens here. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and today I'm going to be making the recipe for Thai iced tea, known as chayen. So keep watching this video. Let's do this. The most important ingredient is, of course, Thai black tea and a lot of people wonder why it's so orange. And that is, and it's tea and also includes ye sea yellow number six. So that's what gives it the real orangey, the classic orangey flavor when you have a Thai iced tea. Also key ingredients are both, um, and this, sorry, it's opened from the bottom so it's upside down, but this is condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk, and this is just evaporated milk, and then sugar. As we wait for the water to boil, uh, we're just gonna prepare our tea. I am using a Thai like tea sock. And as you can see, this has been well used on many cups of delicious tea. But anyway, you, you could use any kind of strainer. Yeah, really any kind of strainer would work or even a sock. I've even used a real sock before. We're gonna put about one kind of heaping tablespoon. I have an authentic Thai street food chai yen ladle, but you don't really need to use this. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip one cup of water. This thing is pretty cool. Okay, one cup of water. You can really steep the tea however you like. You could even just put your leaves in the bottom of a glass of hot water. But in Thailand, you'll see vendors using the tea sock method. Just steep the tea for a while until it turns nice and dark in color, maybe about one or two minutes or so. Okay, that should just about be steeped, and we're ready to go. Pour a cup of the strained tea into a new glass or mug, and this is going to be our mixing cup. Add about two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of sweetened condensed milk, and then give your tea a nice mix to make sure all that condensed milk gets stirred in. Then just pour in about two teaspoons of evaporated milk, which is going to give your Thai iced tea an extra boost of creaminess. And you can see that beautiful, ooh, that's pretty hot. You can see that beautiful orangey creaminess. And that's the exact color you're, you're looking for. Okay, so the next step, this is just completely for fun, but one thing is that it looks really awesome, and another thing is that it gives it a little bit of like foam, which, which a real chai yen should have. So you don't actually have to do this, or you could do it in a different way, but it's pretty fun, so you should try it. Oh, you can, and you can already see the bubbles just foaming on that. The one thing about Thai iced tea is that you make it hot, and then to cool it down, you just have a full cup of ice. Crushed ice works the best. Uh, another thing is that you want to make it a little bit sweeter than like if you, if you taste test it when it's hot, it's gonna be a little too sweet. That way when it hits the ice, it will sort of melt it down and it will uh, tone down that sweetness a little. The last step is to pour your hot tea mixture over a full cup of ice and drizzle in a little more evaporated milk to top it off and it's ready for you to consume. Oh, you just gotta have this refreshing beverage in the heat of Bangkok, yes.